Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video, we will learn how to insert empty rows using the dynamic arrays formula. If you haven't seen my previous video without the dynamic arrays formula, then you can feel free to check that link. So let's dive in and see that how can you build it with the dynamic arrays formula. So this is our data set and we would like to add two number of rows, empty rows after every record. I'll just take some help of the column so we can build up a solution. So I'm just going to write it as two and it's not necessary that you can just add two. You can add any number of rows. Let's assume that we are going to use this function, which is called sequence. Okay. Because we need to generate the rows over here. So let's say 10 comma, how many columns, no columns, comma, start number one and step is one close parentheses enter. And we got the sequence from one to 10. Now let me go back to my solution and complete the task, which I'm doing it over here. Now we know that with this numbers, since we have these IDs, we can generate and we can give them this ID over here. So let's say this is the first position. This will be always one. And after that, I would just like to add two to that. So let's say this plus this, that will give me three. So it is going to come over here. Now I'm going to use some other function also, but for the time being, just be with me and we just need to go and use that plus one. So if you see the position of Nisha will be over here and for Ahmed, it will be on number four. That's interesting. Now let me fill this formula down. Once I fill this formula, so max number is 10. So let's say we are just going to see three rows over here. So the max number goes 11 or let's say five or 12. That goes for the five and that goes for the 13. So we need to have the sequence get generated till 13. So what we can do instead of putting this as 10, I can call the max function and from this range, I can just select the max value, close parentheses, enter. So this becomes dynamic now. Perfect. That's going well. Now let's go and build the other part of this formula. Let's call the X match function. And with the X match, I'm going to say, Hey, this is my array. I'm going to press the pound key comma. So it is taking the entire range and the lookup value will be this. Okay. Because I need to push these values on that records and pressing F4 comma. You need an exact match. No, in X match, you don't need to add any by default is an exact match. So you don't need to worry of declaring it as zero. And in case if you're trying to build a solution with a non dynamic array engine, then you need to just use match function. Enter and voila. So we got that numbers. Now you can see the positioning is correct now. So let's go and wrap this stuff into index command X index and this is my range. I'm going to press F4 comma the row number. Of course, we know that row number, which we built in hex match, close parentheses, enter, and we are getting referral. The reason because you haven't declared the column number because it's very important because there are two columns right now. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say curly brackets, one comma two, and close the curly brackets, enter. So that has fill across. Now, if you are not interested in entering that column number in curly brackets, then you can just use the function called column and you can just highlight the column and just press F4 and close the columns. Perfect. So that would also work perfectly fine. Now we can just wrap it into F error and we just need to say blank. That's the reason we were getting an error. So after F error, if there is an error, then return me. Nothing, just a blank, not the errors. So here we have it. That's it. So if you press it too, so how neatly it has taken. By the way, the last number doesn't make any sense because you need to get this number. So you can just map it that equal distance over here. So there was a little bit of maths which we have done. And then we were able to plot our numbers correctly with that distance. So let me go and grab some more data and let us try to change the numbers with this rows. So we'll see how it works. So I have added the new records to our data set. And now what we can do is we can just pull this formula down. 
perfect so you can see that it will show 10 11 12 14 14 and by the way the range over here is till 10 so we need to make sure that we expand this range you want to make sure that this range goes up to 9 so it can cover the max value or you can just position it to the column entire column and ex exactly over here we need to make sure that we update that range so i'm going to quickly update those range so now when i'll press enter you can see that i've got tina tim faraz and kim also over here so let's go and add some numbers two 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 and perfect that's gone that's perfectly distributed now let's say that you just wanted to add some four blank rows and another four over here and then some odd numbers over here then you can see how neatly it has just distributed the way we like it now since this is in dynamic arrays what we can do once we are done doing this construction of the formula what we can do is just simply copy come over here to this page and paste it as values once you paste it as values there will be no more formula it will be just a value and we can just clean this up and we can have our records over here that's the way how we can insert an empty or the blank rows using dynamic arrays formula so that's all for today and i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the like button share this video subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment section your thought on this inserting empty blank rows uh, with the dynamic arrays formula and if you have some better technique then also please share with me i would love to hear that and my friends those who are using the non-dynamic array excel engine then you can use the rows function and you can also create this formula so if you'd like to see with the non-dynamic array then you please write me down in the comment section and if you'd like to see that video i'm definitely going to prepare it for you so till then take care see you soon happy learning bye